Six million dollars spent, widespread pamphlets, public community meetings and outreach is why the city is declaring victory over the latest measles outbreak. The response to this outbreak has been nothing short of epic. Nearly one year after it began, an end to the public health emergency order declared in Williamsburg and Borough Park, where the majority of the outbreak was centered in the city. The New York City Health Department saying two incubation periods, 42 days in total, have passed with no new measles cases being reported. Children with medical exemptions for vaccinations can return to school, though due to changes in the state law, religious exemptions are no longer allowed. Although the outbreak and the public health emergency is now over in New York City, the threat of measles remains. Dr. Mark Mulligan, the director of NYU Langone's Vaccine Center and a professor of infectious diseases, commends the city's public health efforts, but also urges caution. For the moment, this outbreak has gone away. That's great, but it doesn't mean there couldn't be another outbreak if we let our guard down. Dr. Mulligan says as long as measles exists anywhere in this world, anyone who is not vaccinated is at risk. In Rockland County, the second hot spot for the disease, the outbreak is still very much ongoing, with seven new cases identified in August. While month to month, those numbers, according to health officials there, appear to be going down, the county is still fighting misinformation in small pockets of communities. Similar to what the city faced here. Unfortunately, there are some anti-vaccine groups yeah. that spread lies about vaccines. Vaccines are safe, the diseases kill. It's really important to protect our families and children through vaccinations. Now, fighting anti-vaxxers is something the city's health commissioner compared to arm-to-arm -arm combat. They will continue to fight a lot of that misinformation. And as they do, it's important to remind folks out there that as a result of this recent outbreak that lasted almost a year, 232 summons were issued, 12 schools were closed, and we're told that they will all be reopened or have since reopened since this public emergency order has been lifted. We're reporting live in the east side. I'm Chodhry, Pix 11 News.